and welcome to the sixth video. No, it's our sixth video on Q data structure where we'll discuss priority queue. So prior to this in video number one, we have discussed about what is Q data structure, what are operations on Q data structure, what are different applications of Q, what are advantage and disadvantage we have discussed. Fine. In video number first, in video number second and third, we have discussed about linear Q its algorithm and its program. In video number fourth and fifth, we have discussed about circular Q algorithm and program. Now in video number six, we'll discuss that is on in today's video, we'll discuss about priority Q and in next video, we'll discuss about you know, uh, DQ that is double ended Q. So let's start with the priority Q. Now comes the question. As the word is showing priority, you know, you are watching a word priority. Priority Q is another special type of Q. Priority Q is another special type of Q data structure in which each element has some priority. The meaning of priority is what? The priority is what that each element has some kind of priority. This is what priority is all about. That is if I give you an example of a hospital. In hospital, you have a different N number of cases of patients where some patients are very critical, some patients are less critical, and some patients are only for OPD purposes. So if I say about critical, uh, critical patients, they have highest priority to be uh, to be uh, looked upon. No, then if I talk about uh, less critical patient, they have second highest priority, and OPD patients has less priority because they are just for consultation purpose and all. So this is what priority is all about. So in a priority, you each element has a priority assigned to it. So on the basis of priority, we you know we process them. We we you know we process them or you can say we delete them delete from a queue no we will not make them to stand more in a queue now let's start with uh, uh no so we, uh, what i was uh, reading is that with in which each element has some priority associated with it based on the priority of element on the basis of priority of element element are arranged in a priority view. so uh, on the basis of priority we arrange that you you are uh, you are on a highest priority come here you are on a, a little bit lower priority come back to this person and you are on a least priority come at last fine so this is how you arrange a key element if the element occur with the same priority now comes the question if it might be possible there is a case that if two or three person are having the same priority what will happen they are served according to people so if they are having the same priority that at what time they come they will be served accordingly fine okay now in a priority queue if i say in a priority queue the insertion takes place based on the arrival while deletion occur based on priority now comes how insertion and how deletion takes place in priority queue so if i talk about insertion insertion takes place when they arrive no i don't know who will come after half an hour i don't know but if there are a person, I know how to treat them. No, so insertion takes place on the basis of their arrival, but deletion takes place according to their priority. Now, the priority queue can be shown as if you see the diagram here, you can see that this man is very critical. Then this lady is less critical, and this man is looking fine. So they are, you know, they are in a queue according to their priority. That is, this man will be served first, next this, and then next. Fine. The above figure shows that highest priority element comes first and the element with the same priority are arranged on a FIFO structure. Fine. Suppose there is one more person who is having uh, you know, same uh, same uh, thing you know, or uh, having the same priority. So it will stand on the basis who came first. Suppose he came first, he will stand in front of him and this man came next, then he will stand like that. Fine. Okay. Now comes the question. Now if you see the figure. This is just some somewhat looking like a, a link list and it is exactly like that. This is the element 300 and this is the priority. So it is standing uh, standing front in, uh, you know, first in a queue. And then comes the second element 200 having priority 2. And again, there is an element 100 having priority 2. So since they are having same priority, now they are arranged according to their arrival type. No, since if this 200 came first, 200 will be in first position, then next 100 and then 400. All the three element has the same priority. Now, what the next priority is 504, which is a 54 500. Now, uh, 700, same priority, then 5 is of least priority, which is of 600. Fine. So, this is what uh, how a priority queue looks like. Now comes the priority queue can be implemented in four ways. Now, how you can implement priority queue? You can implement priority queue using arrays, using linked lists, using heap data structure, and using binary search tree. So, uh, you have already, you might be knowing about arrays, you might be knowing about linked lists because uh, I hope uh, I've already, you know, uh, having uh, 64 videos on linked list. So I've already explained in uh, Java T point uh, all all these uh, things in uh, linked list. So uh, you have all these data uh, in linked list. Uh, 
but you might be confused about heap data structure so today we'll discuss about heap, heap data structure and there are many videos on manually search tree also fine so heap uh, the heap data structure is most efficient so out of these four uh, uh, you know, data structure heap data structure is most efficient for making for implementing priority queue fine so what is heap and how what heap is all about we'll discuss all those things a little bit later so analysis of complexity is something like that that is if you implement using linked list if you implement using binary heap and if you implement using a binary search tree then for addition for removal and for peak you have some priority you just watch it and remember it fine okay now comes what is heap so heap is a data structure heap is a tree based data structure so you can clearly see what is a heap heap is a tree based data structure that forms complete binary now what is complete binary i show you example so if it's, this is a tree then its second element come here its third element come here first element second element third element four will come here fifth will come here sixth cannot come here because if six has to come first six will come here and then seven will come here fine okay so if something then if suppose what what happened eight has to come eight will come here so if we are filling if we are filling a level first fine then that type of tree is called complete binary tree so this is a complete binary tree fine so i'm giving you an exam question is this a complete binary tree yes this is a complete binary tree is this is a complete binary tree no because first of all i need to fill the element of five then i can switch to the six so this is not a complete binary tree fine so from complete binary tree we so what is heap heap is a complete binary tree and there are two types of heap min heap and max heap so we'll discuss min heap and max heap so that i can explain you first understand what is min heap and max heap so that i'll be able to explain you priority queue so if you see min heap what is min heap when every parent if you consider this is a parent yes this is a parent of these two child is this a parent yes this is a parent of these two child is this is a parent yes this is a parent of these two childs fine then in min heap every parent is less than it's both the child so is five less than both the child yes fine okay now six is six less than both the child yes fine is seven less than both the child yes fine so this is min heap fine okay then what is max heap the just reverse of max uh, min heap that every element every element should be greater than it's both the child every parent so is this parent both greater than both the child yes is this parent greater than both the child yes is this parent greater than both the child yes so finally what i what i've seen that it's greater than both the child then this is max heap and this is min heap so if i have to you know uh, put this values in array how i can put the root will come five first then second element is six third element is seven then eight then nine then 14 and then 20 and suppose next element it will come here and if i have to implement i have to insert these element then 45 come first then 30 then you have a 40 then you have a 20 then you have a ton then you have a 35 then you have a 15 like this element comes but still you are confused how i can make priority queue from this you might be thinking of how can i make priority from this priority queue from this max heap min heap so i'm giving you an example so you have a min heap you have a max heap suppose i'm considering min heap min heap so min heap so let me you know arrange this element 5 6 7 8 9 14 and 20 so what am i saying is that the element on, on the is uh, on the top of the uh, uh, tree is at highest priority that is the first element in an array is at highest priority fine so first of all i'll make a complete binary tree and i'll make an array of that first of all complete binary tree, then array complete binary tree first and then array next fine okay now why i'm saying this let's understand suppose i have to delete i delete the topmost element first so if topmost element is deleted five is deleted fine so who will have the next priority is six or seven so if I, i'm i'm just confused what i'll do i'll simply what i'll do on deleting five so suppose this five is deleted no suppose i've deleted this five no i have process who will come next then what i'll do i'll i'll replace this five with the last element which is the last element 20 so who will come here 20 will come here five five is deleted then 20 will come here now i'll since now is this min heap though this is not min heap because in min heap parent is smaller than both the child so i'll find the smaller element who which is the smaller element among these child of 20 so 6 is the smaller so i'll replace 6 and 20 will come here 
Now, is this in a minute? No. I'll again check which is the minimum element. 8 is the minimum element. So, what will happen? 8 will come here and 20 will come here. So, what actually happened? The first element came 6. The next element, now again, I have to make an array, rearrange array, 6. Then you can say uh, 8. Then you can say 7. Then 20. Then 9. Then 14. And then uh, 14. Uh, and then 20. Fine. Okay. 6, 8. Uh, 6, 8, 6, 8, 7, then 20, then 9, then 14 and 20. Fine. Okay. So this is what uh, array, array will look like. Fine. This is how array will look like. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit confused that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm doing some, some mistake. Uh, that this when this 20 oh 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 20 has is deleted now 20 is no more so 20 will not come because i have uh, took 20 over here so 20 is no 20 is here fine okay now what happened so you can understand that according to the priority the student uh, elements are coming out fine now if you if i talk about maxi so if i arrange these elements 45 30 min heap means minimum element is having the highest priority max min heap means maximum element is having the highest priority so 45 30 40 uh, then 20, then 10, then then 35, then 15. So the top element is at highest priority. So what I will do, I have to you know delete him. Delete means process him first. So I have deleted 45. On on deleting 45, what will happen? Who will take the position of 45? This is the last element. 15 will come here. So what will happen? On deleting 45, 15 will come here. That is I have also deleted 15. So let me remove 15 also. Fine. Okay. So. Is this a max heap now on on you know on replacing on replacing 15 is this a max heap no in max heap the parent is greater than both the child so is, is this greater than both the child no so i'll see who is the maximum child so 40 is the maximum child what will happen 40 will come here so the moment 40 will come here so 40 will come here fine 40 will come here and 15 will come here now again i'll check is this a max heap no this is not a max heap why because 15 is less than 35 what will happen 35 will cup come up so 35 will come up and 15 will come here fine okay so what is the new arrangement let me make the new arrangement now so the new arrangement is that 40 is now on the top that because the next priority is of 40 which is absolutely right then 30 i'll not bother about the next elements 30 i'll, I'll arrange those elements 35 20 10 15 fine so this is the element arranged according to the priority and now if suppose 40 is deleted who will come i'll again make the maximum min heap so this is what priority uh, how we implement priority queue using max uh, heaps now what are the application of priority queue that we use priority queue in decastro algorithm so what is decastro algorithm i have already uh, you know i have uh, already there are so many videos on uh, graph theory that is there are so many video on uh, shortest path decastro algorithm you can directly watch but i am giving a uh, example that in decastro algorithm we find single source shortest path so while using single source shortest path we we use priority queue so in decastro we use priority queue in prims algorithm what we used in pre why we use prims algorithm we use prims algorithm to find minimum spanning tree so in minimum spanning tree also we use prims algorithm what is huffman in huffman also we use priority queue why what is huffman we use for data compression this is also there in our videos that you can see huffman so what is huffman we use heap in heap sort if you have to sort an element using heap sort we make a heap fine okay and we make a we use a priority queue if we are using a heap we are using a priority queue in operating system we use many priority scheduling loading load balancing and interrupt handling so in operating system also we use priority queues 